Hello crafters, welcome to Create at Home with G and today's video. Today we're going to be making a farmhouse country rustic um, wall plaque. We're going to be using one of these, um, these are placemats that I get from, that I got from Powerland and they're actually reduced, they're 50p now for two. So I brought these for my stash because I love to make signs and wall plaques and things for my home. And this is a perfect um, base to do that from. So I can't get this undone. Okay. So I need one of those. So I have another one for a future project. And obviously I'm going to be using the back. So take off the sticker, which comes off nice and easy. You're going to need a set of these wooden utensils. Now you get a set of two for pound in pound land. So you're going to need those. Now I'm not doing anything with those, so I'm just going to put those aside. And then you're going to need some letters. Now I got my letters from the lovely Fernley Designs, where I get a lot of my stuff. And I've got the, and I'm going to spell out the word eat. Now I've done already gessoed these, so I'm going to gesso this one with you and then do the distressing with you on camera. So you can need whatever um, word you like, whether it be farm or farm fresh or eat or home or whatever you want, whatever you decide. Um, I'm also going to be using the um, Ready Wax Brown, it's cherry blossom, and that's also available from Poundland. And I'm using white gesso, which is in my in my stash. Um, Poundland do do um, some acrylic paints, but I'm not sure if they do a white one. So I'm just going to cover this this board in white gesso, just to give myself a foundation. I won't bore you and uh, watch you let um, paint dry, I'll just uh, fast forward this process. Just don't forget to do your edges. Okay crafters, I've given that a rough coat and as you can see it's not 100% perfect and I didn't want it to be either. Now going on to the Cherry Blossom uh, Ready Wax, and this is shoe polish, uh, it's a shoe wax, I'm going to put some some of that in this jar lid here and I need to go and get my other foam brush, bear with me crafters. And using the, the wax I'm going to go over my my baseboard here. And you can do this as heavy as you like. You could use paint if you don't have a wax. Um, if you've got actual wood wax, you know, staining wax, then do that. But uh, I like using this, um, this shoe wax from Poundland because it's only a pound. And it does a very similar job to a traditional um, wood wax. So this this particular part of this uh, wall sign is complete, completely personal preference. You can go heavier in places. It's entirely your choice. I mean, I, sometimes I like to dab a lot on in the corners. So I can go heavier in the corners. So it really is just personal preference. Okay, let me dry that quickly. As you can see it always it always dries lighter because of the white paint we have in the background so I'm going to give it another coating with this wax and like I say just do what you feel is right for you you can have as much white showing as you want or you can have as little, little. but I do like to go over this a few times at different levels and try and keep as much as this part of this part in as I can because I know people like to see things in real time rather than sped up all the time. Again, I'm going to dry that again. Now going back to the um, sponge brush that I was using for the gesso, whatever white paint is still on it, I'm going to go over the top again with the white paint. And again, totally personal preference. Do what suits you. Okay. 
fire that once more. Okay, let's move that to one side because now I need to work on my letters. Now, as I said, I've done the A and the T already. So I just need my black gesso and a paintbrush. And I'm going to paint my E. Now I'm making sure that I also paint the sides. So obviously this, this wall plaque could be seen quite close up. So I'm trying to pay as much attention as possible. Now Fernley Designs is a, is a UK based company. Um, it's FernleyDesigns.com. They do ship internationally. I will have a link for them in the description box. Uh, there's always a link for them in the description box actually. Like there's going to be a link for my store, uh, Created Home with G. And I want to let everybody know who is watching this video that I have created one of these as a giveaway. So you, firstly, you must be 18 years or over. You must be a subscriber, a long term subscriber, as in don't just subscribe to this channel and then as soon as you've won, unsubscribe. Um, I want you to be a long term subscriber. And all I want you to do is simply comment below and tell me what style of deco you have in your home. That's what I want to know. Whether it be farmhouse, rustic, country, modern, contemporary, vintage, antique. Just let me know in the comments below. And that's all I want. And then I will choose. I'll leave the drawing for a week. So it'll be a week from when this video goes live. And then I will choose a, win a winner via um, the random.org. Okay, let me just quickly dry my E. Now there are a few ways in which you can finish off these letters. I've painted uh, another letter just to show you. You could go over the top with white as I've done here and you can just build up the, the layers and give it that kind of distressed look. This is just another letter that I have in my stash and you get that. You can also go over the top and completely cover it in white and then sand it back. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my nail files, my emery boards, and I'm just going to scuff the edges and maybe do a bit of um, um, sanding on the actual body of the letter just to bring some of the wood back. And that's all I'm going to do. But I'll do that off camera because obviously it's quite noisy and quite messy. Okay, Crafter, as you can see, I've just roughed up the edges. I didn't want anything to, you know, because the background's busy enough. So I wanted these to kind of remain black as much as possible. So I'm going to have them going down the side like this. So E, A, and T. And I'm just going to simply hot glue those on. So I've got my hot glue gun to the side here. Now my A. And I'll tell you something crafters, these letters that I get from Fernley Designs, not only are they superbly made, but they're great quality and they are very, very, very reasonable. I think they're only about, I think it's 30 pence per letter. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I will change the price and have it pop out. But um, they're great value for money. And as always, great customer service. I have some videos coming up in July and later on in the year for Christmas because I'm going to be doing some Christmas craft using the lovely Fernie Designs items. Right now it comes to the wooden spoons. Now as I said I'm not doing anything with these wooden spoons but feel free to do something with them if you wanted to. It is de you know it's definitely personal preference. So I'm going to put some hot glue on this spatula because the main part that's going to hit is, is just going to be this flat part here. I'm going to simply glue that on. I'm going to do the same with this spoon. I think it's going to be hitting in many places, so I'm just going to put some glue in where it is going to hit. Glue 
glue strings I absolutely hate them and then I'm simply going to tie up some raffia jute twine not raffia jute just jute twine and I'm going to staple it now I like having the um, knots at the front but because I'm stapling it I'm just going to staple them on the back if I had a hole I would have the uh, the knot showing through the front and I'm just going to staple that on and there we have a farmhouse kitchen or dining room or anywhere really but a really easy quick and easy farmhouse wall plaque wall decor that you can do for your home so remember be a subscriber be over 18 and leave in the comments what your home decor is and I will draw a winner in a week and I will have to obviously notify the winner if the winner hasn't uh, got back in contact with me within 24 hours I will do another drawing now this is open internationally and in the UK so thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Take care now. Bye bye.